Hi everyone, it's Christina. Say hi, Mira. I love you. For those of you who have followed me for the past year and a half, you'll know that I have transitioned into becoming a minimalist. Once you become a minimalist, I've found that it's easy to go back to your old habits and you can find yourself purchasing things that you otherwise shouldn't. So I wanted to share five tips with you for living minimally long term. <music> So once you've called your items and say, actually, you know what, I need an item to purchase, make sure you do your research before purchasing that item. For example, I needed a new pair of black heels for my wardrobe, so I did some research on what kind of black heels I needed suitable to my lifestyle. I researched things like comfort, quality, longevity, and how often I would be using that item. Then after my research, I went to the mall and tried on the pairs of shoes that I did my research on. I walked in them for a while and asked a lot of questions before making my purchase. My research resulted in me purchasing my first pair of Manila Blahniks. So these are a very simple, classic black kitten heel shoe that I use all the time. And I guarantee that if I hadn't done the research, I would have purchased something out of impulse if I just liked the look of it without really researching how it felt, um, the comfort, the longevity, all the questions that I asked in my research. I guarantee I would not have purchased these shoes if I didn't do my research beforehand. And the other good thing about doing research before you purchase something is it prevents you from impulse shopping. People who impulse shop more often than not regret what they purchase later on. My second tip is to invest in your items. I am a big believer in purchasing items that are high quality so that you don't have to repurchase them later on. It is important to note that not all expensive things are made well and at the same time not all inexpensive things are not made well. Tip number three is to take care of your items. As soon as I purchased these, I went to a cobbler and had the cobbler put a rubber sole on the bottom so that the leather wouldn't wear. I also regularly clean and polish these shoes. If you take care of the items that you have, they'll last a very long time. Tip number four is pay attention to what makes you happy. Don't purchase something just because you feel like you have to or it's what all the other minimalists are doing. Um, minimalism is a very personal experience in my opinion and you can make minimalism whatever you want. A lot of minimalists, for example, are neutral lovers, neutral color lovers. I'm one of those people, I like neutrals, I like blacks, whites, beiges, greys, things like that. But I don't believe that all minimalists have to like neutral colors. You can like bright pink and still be a minimalist. Tip number five is to embrace simplicity. Um, I recently did a room makeover and I caught myself recently looking at a wall that was blank and I was like, hmm, something should go there. But not every wall needs to have something on it. Not every corner needs to have something in it. And essentially that's also what minimalism is. It's to simplify your life and make your life more enjoyable. So yeah, embrace simplicity. It's a beauty in itself. That is going to be it for my five tips on living minimally long term. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and make sure to check out my blog as well. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!